Okay, we're going to take a little tour here. We're recording from within the desktop on this operating system. We're working off the Linux Mint uh, embedded electronic medical records open EMR version 3.2.0. So first we'll just do a quick tour of the operating system. Here's your package manager. It needs a password. This is how you install applications in Linux Mint, Ubuntu, several of the same kind of distributions. Uh, here it lists everything that we've got in the system and then of course you can search and then they've got just literally thousands of applications. It's a really good package manager too. Okay, we're going to go to uh, Control Center. This is the administrative control for the whole system. Uh, it's got a personal section, internet and network, hardware, uh, system, a few miscellaneous other items. This is really well put together too. And that's your system director. And then we can go to the default new package manager. It's called software management. And it's a little bit more of a Windows interface. So if you can look at featured accessories, they've got it broken down into a nice graphical interface. Okay. So now we'll go to uh, we'll just list all first and you can see we've got desktop recorder right here I've got highlighted is that's what we're using to make this. I'm doing this within the system. Let me go to place them down in the administration. There's some backup tools. Uh, software manager run system monitor. Those are those other stuff that's still out. So let's go to our electronic medical records. That's under your office settings. It takes a few minutes for things to load. I think we're all used to that. Here we've got a username is admin. Uh, default password is P A S S. Before you change it, let's bring this in under the calendar. Here you've got a printer icon. changes to the calendar. Uh, we'll put the clinic name here and we'll list your users. And we'll go to management. Just for demo purposes, I'll put we'll just do an open search. We've got one patient listed. Here's some of the patient demographics and then we can pull up more. We'll select contact. Provider is employer insurance. We could just you know all got all the things to enter for each little situation. Current, uh, we can pick up Mr. Sickly again. There's a summary under here, and we'll just uh, list all the visits. Four encounters here. I'm sure they're all under Mr. Sickly. We're all very familiar with this. Now let's pull up this one. Uh, here's where we filled out the chiropractic soap note. And we'll go to the patient encounter. We're going to add an issue. It's pretty well thought out. already one today so we understand that and we've got the current we've got transactions 
for the financials. Pick up your different rooms you can look at. start you want to look under your facility I'll put in a demo one Netflix here and you go to users this is where you add your doctors you can add clinicians front office physicians and these can actually be modified once you get inside the program this is over your practice this is where you add your insurance companies those do have to be manually added and your x12 partners Service I use freemedicalclaims.com. You've got uh, layouts, you can edit your layouts, allow you to list. So you can make a, a full backup of the system. Right over here is where you can modify your languages. Really cool, it's a great feature. Here's all the forms we've got in here. And some you, you'll need to register. And the camo is a really good thing. So you can uh, mess around with the calendar, change that somewhat. Here's some extra logs. Your facts. Just gonna go through a little bit of it for you. Okay, okay, now we're gonna look here and see. We've got full sound and video things included. We can we've got a scanner system included. You've got a scanner. Here's a file breakdown. It's much like the remote service we use the Digital Home folder. That's where we keep our documents, pictures, music, videos. And here's your file system with a complete Unix file system. Unit 10 is where we're running. This is actually the System relatively easy to get wireless from. That's basically it.